little bit of trouble going on with Joaquin Phoenix and the Joker movie, which isn't a surprise. This has been going on for months. The movie's getting review bombed by critics, all for the stupidest reasons. Like it's going to inspire people to go crazy. That's what they're. That's what they're saying for real, literally. It's it's the dumbest controversy that I've ever seen. But they keep talking about it. They won't stop. It's like they want the movie to fail. Well, they're trying to get it to fail anyway. It's funny though because these people literally have no influence on anything. They can all go out and trash a movie and say that movie. That movie's terrible. Don't go see that movie. We don't like it. And the movie ends up doing really good. Uh, my favorite comparison, an example is Venom, which critics came out and just lambasted. Said that movie was going to be terrible. It's going to be a joke. Nobody's going to like it. What happened? The movie made like $80 million. (laughs) I think it it made a lot of money. I don't remember exactly how much, but it made a lot of money. And audience, audience scores were good. They liked it. Got good reviews. And if you go and you look at the comparison on like a Rotten Tomatoes or a Metacritic, Audience reviews, really positive. Critics, really low. So they don't really matter that much anymore. Uh, People tend to just go to their favorite people on YouTube now and get reviews from them. And I think that that's probably the way to do it. Go to YouTube and watch reviews. Or I also think going to Metacritic or, or sites where you can look at the audience reviews and what they've written is definitely the way to go. That's always helpful. However, this movie is a little bit different because they seem to think that this is going to inspire some guy to rise up and go crazy. It's going to, the white male, he's going to get, it's, he's a crazy incel. Go, go see Cuck instead. And yes, that's a real movie. <laughs> that's a real movie. I can't believe that they're stupid enough to make that and think it's going to do good. No one's going to want to see that. It's really trying to do the same premise as this. Except lecture you the entire time. It's not going to be entertaining. I highly doubt it will be. It'll be full of that same propaganda as the people that want to burn books. So no need to get into that one right now. But anyway, uh, they actually had Joaquin Phoenix sit down for an interview about Joker. And asked him that question. Do you think this will inspire people to become crazy? And he got up and walked out. Got up and walked out. Don't think you can blame him. He doesn't want any of this. He knows they're doing it so that they can incite people to uh, get mad about stuff. He knows what they're doing. He walked out. Didn't care for that question. I don't blame him. I think he did the right thing. Now, I think he ended up going back, according to this, and I'll get into it in a second, but um, I like that he pretty much gave that journalist the finger. I like that he did that. I like a lot of the marketing they're doing with this movie. They're going around and putting negative reviews <laughs> on the posters and, and stuff. I think that's lovely. That's uh, some brilliant marketing. Of course, this is uh, also a branch of the same people who hired Zoe Quinn to write a Batman Superman spinoff. But to be fair, the comic book line and the entertainment line are separate. They don't really talk or work together in any way. So I think there's some leeway to be given there. So... Let's take a look at what happened. Joaquin Phoenix is garnering tremendous praise and Oscar buzz for his role as comedian turned villain in the upcoming Joker. But the actor who is currently on the promotional trail for the film found himself in an awkward situation during an interview with the Telegraph when an uncomfortable question caused him to walk out. During the interview, Phoenix was asked if he was worried that the film might pervasively end up inspiring exactly the kind of people it's about with potentially tragic results. The question caused Phoenix to mutter, why would you, no, no, to the interview, to the interviewer before walking out, only to return an hour later after the journalist did some peace brokering with Warner Brothers PR. Explaining his response, Phoenix said that the question hadn't crossed his mind before, and then asked what an intelligent answer would have sounded like. And then they say that he has a habit of walking off, as as Joker director Todd Phillips recently revealed. He'd frequently leave the set in the middle of shooting scenes. In the middle of a scene, he'll just walk away and walk out, he explained. And the poor other actor thinks it's them, and it's never them. It's always him. He just wasn't feeling it. Doesn't sound like he was feeling that question either. (laughs) So he did go back. But I liked his response. What is an answer to that supposed to sound like? You know, do you want me to trash my own movie? 
this is stupid. People have been people have been pulling their panties up into a bunch over this movie for the past couple of months. And it's not going to work. This movie is going to be a massive hit. I can't wait to see it. This is one of the movies I've really been excited to see pretty much since they showed the first trailer. When did they show that trailer? Like back in back in February, I think. They showed us the first tra- trailer for Joker. I've been pumped to see it since then. And apparently the uh, hacktivists, the journalists, they've been excited to use it to kind of bolster their woke numbers. I find this funny. All you're doing is bolstering your numbers with people that are going to turn on you as soon as you make a mistake. So anyway, uh, I enjoy the butt hurt over this movie. I think it's quite humorous. I think most people that are sane and normal find it humorous or get mad about it because they're sick of these people. I think you know, you just got to laugh at them. There's not much we can do to stop them. See, so just laugh at them, make videos, point out their stupidity, talk about their stupidity, and hopefully maybe someday the tide will turn and people will realize these people are effing stupid. Anyway, that's all I got. I'm not going to drag this out. Uh, tell me what you think about this. Do you like that he walked out? Are you mad he went back and gave the guy the interview? Let me know in the comments. Uh, share the video. Let people know about this wildness. Like and subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed too, by the way, because, well, that's a thing. You know, every time they make little changes, because they just change it so everybody's abbreviated now in their numbers. So I'm sure that's going to affect things again. So make sure you're still subscribed, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.